A single mother, a single mother of five faces up to a year behind bars. Why? Well, for having her teenage daughter babysit her little brother during the pandemic. In May 2020, Melissa Henderson had to go to work, but her children's daycare was closed due to COVID. Her solution? She decided to leave her daughter, who she says is a responsible 14-year-old, in charge. Well, all was well until the teenager was reportedly distracted by schoolwork and her four-year-old brother wandered out of the house unnoticed. Now, he was found safe and sound at a friend's home within 15 minutes. But the cops were called, and they cuffed the single mom and charged her with criminal reckless conduct. Thank you both for being here. Thank you. Um, Thank you, Dr. Phil. You guys were invited here because I read about this story, and I was shocked. So what happened? Basically, quarantine hit, and I was not working like everybody else. And my job opened back up, but mm -hmm. daycares and schools did not. And I live in a small town. There's not a lot of options to begin with. And I asked my oldest daughter, who's almost 17 now, but she was 14 at the time, mm -hmm. if she'd just help watch over the little ones so I could go to work. And she was completely fine with that. Okay, great. We'll do what we need to do. She knew that I needed to go back to work and... After that, it just spiraled. Okay, now, in Georgia, it's legal to have a babysitter 13 and older is considered appropriate. A absolutely. Although those are guidelines and therefore not right. the law, and the statute she's been charged with was declared unconstitutional in 1997, applied to a similar situation. Okay. That makes it even more absurd. You were arrested a couple weeks later, but you came home the day of and there were cop cars in the driveway. Right. They were waiting on me to tell me that he had wandered outside. Oh, he went over to see a friend and she, he went over to follow his little friend to his house. His mom brought them inside and called the police. And my daughter went right over, grabbed him, brought him back home. And by the time the police got there, he was already home. But they just said, I just wanted to let you know that he had walked outside and everything's okay. And I said, thank you for telling me. Okay, we'll take care of it. And they said, have a nice day. And then two weeks later, they came back and arrested me. Okay, and they cuffed you. Mm -hmm. You look dangerous. <laughs> they cuffed you, put you in the back of the police car. They, to their credit, they didn't cuff you in front of your children. I begged them to bring me to the side of the house, not next to the kids. But okay. they were all there um, for about a, 45 minutes or an hour while we were waiting on someone to come help me with the kids while I was being arrested. There had been some incident prior to this. Mm -hmm. Right? And what happened then? Similar situation, uh, about a year before that, my little boy and my daughter were in the yard playing in the driveway, and a neighbor called and said, uh, these kids are in the road, you need to, so they called me at work, it was my first day at work, and I uh, ran home, and he was, they were just in the driveway, but they just said, same thing, no big deal, we just want to make sure the kids stay inside. Why? are the neighbors calling the police instead of you? That's a very good question. I felt that there were numerous avenues she could have taken instead of going that far. So they arrest you and take you down. You had to get somebody to come watch the children. Mm -hmm. Okay. How long were you gone then? Well, when he called me to tell me that he was arresting me, he told me just to tell the kids that I was going to run to this grocery store and that I'd be right back. And I didn't do that. <laughs> I, I uh, wasn't quite sure what that meant, what meant I'd be right back. So instead of just doing that, I called a friend to have them come over while we were mm -hmm. taking care of this. And I was there for three, probably three or four hours. But you were treated like, like an inmate. a criminal. <laughs> yeah. 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 Mugshot. Fingerprints, Fingerprint. handcuffs, the whole thing. Right. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.